Now that we know the basics of the opening, it's time to start talking about tactics. Mm. Tactic is a fancy word for trick, and the simplest trick, the most common one, the one you absolutely have to know, is hanging pieces. Well, what's a hanging piece? That's a piece that can just be captured for free. You may have heard the term hanging out to dry. That's not a good place to be in. Take a look at our chessboard here. If it's White's move, is there any piece that he can capture for free? Well, let's see. If the knight captures this pawn, is that pawn free? I don't think so. It's going to cost you your knight. The black knight's going to come get you. The only other capture that I can see is this bishop. We can come up and capture this pawn. That's not free either. Don't forget, kings can play defense too. I don't want to lose a knight or a bishop and only get a pawn back in return. So if you're white, you might decide to make a different move. I like castling. I like bringing another piece out. But let's pretend that white is a little too aggressive and plays this move, knight to g5. Okay, it's black's turn. Does black have anything to capture for free? Mm. Well, yes. Yes, he does. This knight was a little too aggressive, and the queen can swoop down and capture. Now, before you make any capture in chess, you have to look at the entire army of your opponent. You wouldn't want to bring your queen out so early and have her get captured. <gasps> There's really no mystery to this. It's just about looking at the entire board. It's kind of like when you watch cartoons on TV. You have to notice the entire television screen. Otherwise, you'd have a roadrunner and no coyote, and that wouldn't be a very good cartoon. So, let's have the Black Queen just come down and take this knight. I don't see a danger to the Black Queen. That knight was hanging. And of course, leaving your pieces hanging out to dry is not a good place for them. Okay, White's turn again. Pretend White doesn't see what's coming next and plays the move D4. This move is actually kind of tricky. If you're Black, you might realize, hey, your bishop is hanging. It's about to be captured. But if you focus too much on your bishop, Maybe you'll decide to capture this white pawn, which, by the way, was also kind of hanging, wasn't it? Then, white will come up and capture your queen. I hope you saw that before I played it. Black's queen was hanging. Very, very tricky move by white. Let's back up and see what black should have done. When this pawn came forward to d4, it's more important to notice when your queen is hanging than your bishop. Because if you can only save one, certainly you should save the queen. Well, before we save our queen, let's find a white piece that the queen can capture. Is there a white piece that's hanging? Well, again, yes, there is. It's not the bishop. If we come capture the bishop, that's not a free piece because the queen will just take us back. Instead, let's capture this pawn on g2. I believe that pawn was hanging. Okay, white's turn. Even if white realizes his rook is hanging, there's not a lot he can do. I suppose the best move is to slide the rook over to f1. Now the rook has the protection of the king and even the bishop, so the rook probably is not going to be captured. Yeah. But continuing our theme here of white not noticing his hanging pieces, let's just say he comes and captures this bishop. Ooh. I think we all know what black's going to do next. He's going to take one of white's hanging pieces. There's actually a lot of good options here. You could take the rook or you could take the pawn here on e4. But I would not take the other two pawns. If you take this one, that pawn's not hanging. That pawn has a friend. You're going to lose your queen. And if you take the other one, as we said before, the king can help his own cause. The king is actually making sure that pawn is safe. It doesn't really matter to me too much, but generally I like to capture the bigger stuff. Let's capture the rook. That rook was hanging. Yes, I think I've said it about a dozen times. Also notice this move is check. And no matter what white does to get out of check, we're probably going to capture some more free stuff. Let's just make one more move for each side. White can block the check. Remember in CPR, we call that P for protect. And now it's Black's turn. Don't capture the bishop. That bishop is not hanging. The white king will capture you back. But you can capture this pawn. Or if you'd like, you can come capture this pawn. Nothing is guarding that pawn. That makes it hanging. Oh. And you can see, if you just notice free pieces to capture, and if you avoid giving away your own pieces for free, you will be three times as good as you already are, and you absolutely have to know this idea. Otherwise, you're going to have a roadrunner, but no coyote, and you're going to be chasing a bunch of air.
Make sure you look at the entire board every turn. Notice all of your captures and you will be a rock star. <laughs>